Hi everyone. Today we will talk about cost of debt. How to calculate cost of debt using rate function and IRR function. We will explain with the help of an example. In this example, we have 10% debentures or rupees 10 lakh. In case 1, they are issued at par and redeemable at par after 10 years. To calculate cost of debt, first we use rate function. So in case 1, what is the present value here? Or you can say what is the net proceed? Because the venture issued at par, so we have 10 lakh rupees as a present value or net proceed. We are paying interest at the rate of 10% on 10 lakh. But because of tax rate, we have some tax benefit. So the net outflow is the whole amount multiplied by 1 minus tax rate. So the outflow every year is only 50,000. Number of years are 10. And redeemable value after 10 years because these debentures are redeemable at par. So the value remains same 10 lakh. If we want to calculate cost of debt using rate function, so we write here equal rate. In a rate function, the first we need number of periods. Number of periods are 10. PMT, the periodical payment, we are paying interest because it's the outflow, we use minus 50,000 every year. And present value is the inflow. So it remains same 10 lakh. In future, we want to pay how much amount? 10 lakh rupees. This is again an outflow. So minus 10 lakh. When we press enter, we will get answer 5% using rate function. Now, if we want to same using IRR. So now we have 10 years 0 to 10. Initial inflow is 10 lakh rupees. Outflow is every year is 50,000. So this is same 50,000 for 10 years, 1 to 10. So I'm going to fix this. I'm using F4 here. Now I fix this, enter, and now it will remain same for the next 10 years. But on the 10th year, we have to pay redeemable value, which is equal to 10 lakh. So we again say it is again minus because the outflow. So the last year outflow is not only 50,000, it is 50,000 plus 10 lakh. So the outflow is 10 lakh 50,000. Now using IRR equal IRR. When we press equal IRR and we take all, all values from 0 to 10 years, the answer will be same as we use rate function 5%. Now case 2, when debenture issued at discount, in this case, discount is 15%. So what's the difference in the first and the second case? Only the net proceed initial value. So I'm talking about case 2. In case 2, initial value is 10 lakh multiplied by 1 minus discount rate. So ultimately, we are not receiving 10 lakh rupees. We are receiving only 8 lakh 50,000. And see here. Using the same format, using rate function, answer is 7.15 and using IRR, answer is same as 7.15%. Now in case 3, in case 3, if we are going to issue debentures at 15%, so obviously in this case, net proceed will be increased in the initial year. In initial year, we will get 10 lakh plus premium of 15%. So we will get 11 lakh 50,000. And now by changing these two values, in case 3, the cost of debt using rate function is 3.22 and using IRR, it is again same as 3.22%. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.